In this era of globalization and knowledge-based competitive economies, research plays a key role in policy formulation and economic management. Policy decisions on Tanzania, the land of the Kilimanjaro, Gorongoro, and the Serengeti Plains relies heavily on research evidence from institutions such as the Economic and Social Research Foundation. Established in April 1993 as an independent, non-profit, non-governmental research institute, the foundation has championed the policy debate in Tanzania. So at that time, it was um, the first time a policy think tank of that type was being formed in Tanzania. In the 1990s, we entered the phase of more difficult reforms in which you had to address a number of fundamental policy issues. At that time, then the demand for policy analysis was uh, very clearly seen. Uh, so it's in that context that uh, ESRF was established. ESRF was established basically with the aim of, uh, of providing evidence uh, for policy analysis, basically also building capacity among government officials and also the private sector to understand the role in the environment whereby we have agreed that uh, uh, moving from a socialist uh, perspective uh, in, in, into a market economy, we needed a stronger uh, understanding of the, the dynamics of private sector operations and the competitive global economy. ESRF's research agenda is largely demand-driven through annual stakeholders' consultative meetings, mostly geared towards addressing growth and poverty reduction goals. These long-term development goals are enshrined in the National Development Vision 2025. Well, one of the challenges which we have up now, the biggest challenge is how to take the research results into the development, into the commercializations. That means to take it to the, to the, to the, to the, to the society need. There's a lot of research which have been done, which have been conducted, but the challenge is now how to take them. So we believe the institutions like ESRF is the one which could help us much. Being, we being the coordinating body, we can get an input from the ESRF on how best we can be able to, uh, to take the research outputs into the society. And that way we could be able to collaborate much more stronger with the ESRF and contribute to the national development goals. In implementing its mandate for research and capacity building, ESRF mainly focuses its research in five key thematic areas. These are growth and wealth creation, governance, social services and the quality of life, globalization and regional integration, and natural resources. The main uh, aim of all this research is to generate evidence that is going to be used by ministries and other development agencies in order to develop policies. A common man will need a good policy because a good policy will generate strategies that can be used uh, to support them in their development. ESRF is distinct because uh, it is involved in creating an environment in which all other actors will come and work in. The role of capacity building to our stakeholders cannot be overemphasized in our mandate to train and to develop our stakeholders in policy analysis. Therefore, ESRF does this through the, uh, its unit called Governance and Capacity Building Unit. It has a number of activities. These include trainings, knowledge dissemination seminars or workshops. We call them policy dialogue seminars. Collaborative capacity building programs hosted at ESRF are the Postgraduate Diploma on Poverty Analysis and the International Fellowship Program. The Ford Foundation Fellowship has a mission to support individuals from designated disadvantaged groups. The program is a scholarship program and is intended uh, for people who are marginalized. This program is meant to improve skills and knowledge of these marginalized people so that they can help interpret policy and implement policy at uh, grassroots level and these marginalized communities. The Postgraduate Diploma in Policy Analysis is a one-year program of international standard with specific emphasis on imparting investigative skills and research capacities for applied policy analysis. This program basically targets the mid and high level officials who are interested to work on research on poverty issues and also policy analysis issues. The program is jointly delivered and managed by three institutions. 
the Economic and Social Research Foundation, ESRF, Research on Poverty Alleviation, Repoa, and the Institute of Social Studies of the Erasmus University, Rotterdam. The three institutions benefit actually from, from each other and learn from each other, so it has actually become a success. Information is power, and as we all know, knowledge is innate if not shared. An equally important service offered by ESRF is knowledge management through a physical library facility and specialized websites, such as Tanzania Online, that stocks publications on Tanzania. Tanzania Gateway, that has information about different economic actors by sector. And TACnet, an online discussion on topical social and economic issues in Tanzania. Uh, more especially, we have made the easy availability of these documents. Before 2000, I mean, it was very difficult to get these government policies, to get the government strategies. Uh, but now, after the Tanzania Online, those things are available easily online. As a department, we've been organizing workshops and training on knowledge management and information dissemination. We also organize some on e-marketing. And the purpose is to make sure that our partner, which we deal with, they also engage themselves into dissemination of knowledge and information. Institutional funding has historically come from the Government of Tanzania, the African Capacity Building Foundation, UNDP, and the World Bank. Recently, additional funds have been provided by IDRC, Think Tank Initiative, and the Foundation for Civil Society in Tanzania. If you look at the work that is done by Economic and Social Research Foundation, it's, it's, it's more or less, I can say, providing a bridge, a bridge function between the policies and the people by providing either a forum through which people will engage in policy making process or people will build their capacity, their understanding of the various social and economic policies. I also have expectations that through our support or through the, the core activities of, of, of EFRF, we, we should be seeing more capacity be build, being built to other civil society organizations so that through those other civil society organizations, citizens will engage more in the policy making processes. We are happy that most of the work we do has tended to influence uh, policy in Tanzania. We have worked very closely with the East African community, for example, and when we've been part to uh, making uh, strategies like the private sector uh, strategy. ESRF as a research institution is one of the very um, renewed, uh, renewed uh, research institutions because it has done a number of uh, commissioned uh, work with the government, with the private sector, with the donor community. We've done a number of uh, big assignments under this unit, including the development of Tanzania vision, the preliminary analysis of uh, the implementation of uh, Tanzania development vision 2025 and the other key assignments like identification of our growth drivers which are key to development. To conclude, uh, let me thank uh, uh, all stakeholders, particularly the government of Tanzania for the support it has given to ESRF, the international community, particularly IDRC, Think Tank Initiative, for the support they've given us uh, in, in, in making sure that we become relevant uh, not only to Tanzania as a, as, as a country but to East African community as a whole in shaping the future of East Africans.